Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Ikyo. Today I'm going to be doing another review very quickly for The Midnight Sky. Last night was Wonder Woman 1984. Today I'm doing a review for this movie. Just got done watching it. Overall, it was an okay movie, guys. That's my pre-rating score for the film. Midnight Sky is just an okay, decent movie. Nothing super spectacular about it, which is kind of sad because George Clooney's in it. And he directed the film and it's based on a book and all that. But really, I was... Pretty interested in the movie. The premise sounded interesting. The cast is a pretty good cast as well. So that's kind of unfortunate. But I will tell, I'll explain why it was like that. But anyway, story of this movie. Uh, radiation wipes out most of the planet's population. And George Clooney is stuck alone on this planet. He plays a character called Augustine um, Lofthouse. Um, and he soon finds this girl there. And he's like, okay. Me and you, we're gonna go to this place, and we're gonna, you know, see if there's, you know, anyone there, any food and shelter and all type of stuff there and all that. So they embark on this journey at the same time. There's astronauts in space that are going back to Earth from their mission from Jupiter, and stuff happens. And it's almost a two-hour film, and it did not feel like two hours. It felt like wow. This film drags, and I'll talk about that in the negatives, but. Overall, that's all I can really say about the movie in terms of the story without spoiling much. There is a bit of a twist that happens towards the end of the movie. I was like, oh, that's kind of interesting. But now the thing about it, it was like, yeah, that doesn't really make sense. But then when you really think about it, it makes sense for the movie uh, and what they're going for. So yeah, and the story and the subject matter. And given the state of things and George Clooney's character's condition, which I also won't spoil in case you haven't seen any trailers or whatever. For the film here, yeah, I wouldn't spoil anything. Positives, jumping right into it. George Clooney is fantastic in the movie. I wouldn't say it's an Oscar worthy performance, but he's just he's just fine. Everyone else is decent, but it's just George Clooney alone that stirs the show in this movie. Um the little girl she also does a pretty good job. Another thing was that the special effects in this movie were also pretty good. And some of them really but some of like, yeah, that's up with CGI noticeable. So yeah. Um, another thing was also the music. Alexandra, uh, Alexander Des Despla Display or Despot score. I can never say his name properly, but his score is great. His music was great. Not as good as yesterday's score, of course, from 1984 by the great Hans Zimmer. But when I was watching the film, I was like, this sounds like Harry Potter and the Devil Wears Part 1 and 2 at times. Because he actually composed, Alexander Display actually composed the last two Harry Potter movies. That's why it sounds pretty similar. So yeah, it was the special effects, the music, and George Clooney that. Work with me in this movie. Negatives. Pacing. is so off in this movie. Um, it's such a drag out story times. Sometimes it felt kind of boring. But that's not what I really want to talk about. And speaking of kind of boring. Is that yeah. That wasn't a really compelling story in this movie guys. It was just like. A post apocalyptic type of story. We have astronauts trying to get back to Earth. And that's really it. You have the cliched family drama and all that. But that wasn't really something that was gripping you know, and all that type of stuff, but how much can you really expect from a post-apocalyptic and sci-fi movie like this, and finally, for negatives, unfortunately, there were times I was like, ah, oh, this, this could have been a little bit fleshed out more, and certain characters could have had more to do in the movie, yeah, there was a lack of character development in the movie, unfortunately, so that's really all I can say about the movie, so overall, just to wrap things up, as a final score, 5 out of 10 for Midnight Sky, yep, 50% 5 out of 10 for the film um, I'm not trying to copy Austin Burke and anything like that but it's right in the middle for being a good movie and a bad movie guys yeah it's it's decent it's all right it's semi watchable um you will definitely get something out of it if you're into these type of movies but let me know in the comments down below how do you feel about the Midnight Sky on Netflix it's out right now and in select theaters as the poster says here thank you guys so much for watching this review um, tomorrow's Christmas Day, so Merry Christmas. Um, I might be doing a Christmas video tomorrow. And all that, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and tell me what are your thoughts on the Midnight Sky. My name is Akil, otherwise known as the Comic Director, and I'm signing out.